It's not a full moon, just a half thingy, but still pretty. Where have you been? Out. Your phone was off. It's never off. It ran out of juice. Vinny had to pick Blue up from the mall. From the security guard's office. What? It was Leroy. He put the money in my hand. Whose money? This chick called Lily. She and Leroy were busking and he had the brilliant idea to steal her money. And I got caught because he ran and I was just standing there. Why were you there? It's a long story, but I didn't steal anything. Are the police involved? Well, after we handed the money back, I persuaded the security guards that Blue was a good kid and that would deal with the real offender. Thanks, Vinny. I owe you one. Yeah. Well, I'd better give him a call, eh? They keep telling you to charge that one and ruining our evening completely. Mm. Especially after a sizzling hot date. Did you and Vinny go out? No, but you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, everyone. Oh, have you seen the moon tonight? It's not a full moon, but oh, it is gorgeous. Okay. Sprung. I knew it. Do I not? Maybe. Is he from where? It's not serious. It's just a bit of fun. Who is it? I shouldn't really say. Please tell me he's single. Yes. A doctor? It's more of a managerial position at the moment. Gary from accounts? No. Roger from HR? No. Managerial position? Well, it can't be Chris. No way. <laughs> Why not? I've still got it. So has he. But he's not single. He's still married to Rachel. Not really. Well, have they broken up? Basically. They're not even in communication. It's over. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said anything. I just couldn't keep it to myself. Chris Warner. You can't say anything to anyone. Yeah, but I need the details. From the start, please. First off, I'd like to welcome Ruby to the clinic. Hi. Ruby's done some general surgery, but no plastics, so she's on a learning curve. Be kind. Okay, our first patient is Pete Ferris. He's lost close to 100 kilos. Whoa, it's more than my whole body. I'm sure Ruby knows the name of the procedure. Yes, me. <laughs> Pardon? Um, let's wrap it up there, shall we? Crowd. Bad material. Oh, you could do better. Of course I could. Go on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who. <laughs> Good, right? Well, I've got plenty more. At least you're pretty. <laughs> Cutest hair. Fussy is good. Can tidy up my bits for any time. No one you offer this kind of surgery. How can you be sure it won't be wasted? I can't. Well, what if he goes home and binges on burgers for a month? He's already shown huge commitment with his weight loss, so I'm confident this off will help him avoid packing it on again. You're a good listener. A smooth talker. If you say so. How would you feel about me sitting in on some consultations? Why, do you want to spend more time together? <laughs> I'd rather not, but I've got to learn the rope somehow. I'm doing a complex abdominoplasty tomorrow. I can watch. You can scrub in, if you can stand being in the same room as me. If you promise not to crack any more jokes. How do you feel about puns? How do you feel about hemorrhoids? Very carefully. Well played. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> I thought we could... I'm Ruby, <laughs> Lily's sister. Mohenda, Leroy's uncle. Sorry to have to meet under these circumstances. Uh, you must be Lily. And you're Jack's dad, right? Yeah. How is he? Is he coping with exams? Yeah, he's doing okay, thanks. You know, if he needs a study buddy or anything. we get on with it? The only reason I'm here is because I like Blue. He texted me and told me to watch you squirm while you apologise. I'm going to record it for him. Lily, just say what you want to say. The money you stole was the money I used to pay for my music class. <laughs> Will you please you should ask for your money back. Excuse me? Leroy. You can't talk to people like that. Well, I wasn't being mean. She's just not very good. Just shut up and listen. Whatever. Forget it. I don't need an apology because I know you won't mean it. But I'll just say this. You may be very good at rhyming, but you're also an A-grade douche. Nice one. I was going to say sorry. You insulted her. And she's right, you wouldn't have meant to just go home. Are you okay? Are you going to go cry in the corner or something? Do you even know me? Go straight home, please. Sure. Let's go with that. Go home. How was your first shift? Good. 
And the learning curve, steep or easy? Basic, same as general, but I say I've got a lot to learn. Ruby asked all the right questions, and she's a quick learner. Oh, props to Finn. He's patient and makes a good teacher. Excellent. Well done to you both. I'll read up on those articles you mentioned tonight. Or we could talk them through over a drink. A drink? With the team and everyone, or just us? Just us? Uh, thanks, but I think they might be crossing a line. Sorry? Asking me for a drink? Why not? Well, I'd prefer to keep things professional. Of course, I wasn't meaning a date. <sighs> okay. Sorry if I misunderstood. I I've got something to get to anyway. Cheers. Yeah, uh, interviewing chefs. Can you do the next one? Why me? What's getting late? I want to run your kids. We have kids? Yeah, two, I think. <laughs> oh. Dinner is promised. Is it any good? Don't trust your own food, Nicole. Look, <laughs> the chef is trying his best. Blair, he's okay, but he's, he's not Cam. I find the standard is pretty good. Cam, he had that flair, variety. See? Oh, what about that guy? He asked me what Florentine meant. What? Even I know what that is. I don't know what's harder, hiring nurses or chefs. I'll go talk to him, you take over here. Oh, what can I get you, Flatty? Just the menu, thanks. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Good day. Oh, it's been a wrangling teenager's day. Oh, what's Blue done now? Not Blue, Leroy. Say no more. It's all sorted now. Still, the mother guilt still lingers. What did you do wrong? Blue tried calling me yesterday on my cell, but it didn't answer. He couldn't get through. It happens. I should have left my phone on. Even parents are allowed time off. You think so? No need for guilt. I did enjoy myself. Mm. Enough to do it again. Morning. Morning. I asked Ruby to scrub in for the big case today. She's only just started in plastics. She's not Kylie, but she's more than adequate. Well, I'm going to need more than adequate. Let her work the post-op clinic and put Tegan on our case. OK, but you'll see. Ruby is a good nurse. I know you've got a crush on the new girl, but try not to be so obvious about it. Good morning. Hi. I've gone through all the readings for the big op. Looking forward to watching you and Dr. McCaskill in action. Uh, about that. I'm afraid the scrub nurse for that procedure has already been allocated. You'll be in the post-op clinic. Wound care, yeah. Uh, it is important. Of course. I mean, I wasn't saying. Everything all right? Yeah, good. Settling in okay? Getting there. The PSC can be a bit of a boys' club, so if you have any issues, just come to me, yeah? Will do. Thanks. Good. Any word from Curtis? So, a successful move back to me? Excuse me? Let's keep it professional, okay? Sorry, I don't think it was an offensive term. In a public space, it most definitely is. It's air hostess standard. <laughs> Your makeup's got to be perfect 24 7 and you're here. Can I? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, done. Thanks. Rough day. Oh, family dramas. My sister attracts trouble somehow. I don't know how she does it. And that's the only thing worrying you? Well, there is something, but I should deal directly with the person, right? Give me a hint. No names needed. I've annoyed the surgeons already, and I've only just started. What happened? Oh, I don't want to make it bigger than it already is. But you don't want me to intervene? No way. I'll just work my butt off. Prove myself. I'm sorry? You're here for your rhinoplasty? What? No! Uh, Mrs. Bovin! Uh, please excuse Ruby, she's new. Just go through, your mother's doing really well. I'll see you in a tick. What the hell? Whoops. You couldn't ask her name first? She just walked in at the right time, I just assumed. Like, her nose looked really... Okay, before I put that little fire out, no more mistakes. No more moobs, no more over-friendly, unprofessional approaches to clients or staff. Over-friendly? Oh, I get it now. Excuse me? The second I turn down the drink with you, I get nothing but attitude. Whoa, hold on a minute, both of you. I need to see my patient. No, that can wait. I want to know, have you been harassing one of my nurses? 